Hello and welcome to another video of this Microsoft Power BI do-it-yourself tutorials. In this video we are going to create a web scrapper for Crick Info. So all those Cricket fans out there we are going to use the Power BI to get data from Crick Info. See how. So you have this website crickinfo.com. You can use any other website. It is not necessarily uh, need to be Crick Info. You can use Fox Sports if you are a football fan or any other website or any other uh, sporting or even if you want to go to a finance website and get the stock data. doesn't matter. But So go to Crick Info and click on stats. Go to records and click on batting records and say most runs in career. Now you would see a table and I want to import this table in Power BI without having to copy paste. So all I'm going to do is copy the URL and go to the Power BI, click on create a new Power BI file and let's see how to do it. create a new PBIX file and then click on get data option select the web and paste the URL which we copied from ESP and Crick Info get data web and it will give you a URL option this is just a basic you can do some parameter passing or connection timeout and stuff like that but for now I'm gonna do basic and say ok now please note that I'm gonna pause the video because it takes a bit of time here to get the data loaded. Now select most runs and then click on load. So let's go there. Click on most runs and this is the preview. Click on load and the data is going to be loaded. Let's create a quick visualization. So, so that's great. So you have player and you have uh, let's say most runs so runs and then I'm gonna sort it and I'm gonna do a graph there you go so now you have a visualization on the most runs here and you see that Indian player SR Tendulkar great batsman uh, is the top run scorer in tests followed by so many players so this is how you can get data from any website and create a, a visualization which is very very simple. Now time for some hands on. So go to any of the websites you like and try to get data using the web data connector and play around with it. Thank you for watching.